Hello everyone, this is Vrishali. In previous session, we discussed about black box, white box testing and unit testing with examples. I have mentioned complete software engineering subject playlist link in below description box. Now, in today's session, we will discuss the next type of testing that is integration testing. Let's start the session. In this session, we will discuss about integration testing, why integration testing, their examples and types of integration testing. At the end, we will discuss some important questions that have asked in previous year question paper. As per your exam point of view, this is one of the most important topic. Now let's see all these points one by one. The first topic is what exactly integration testing. Integration testing is a second level of testing in software testing process. See here in this particular image. In previous session, we discussed about unit testing. Unit testing is a first level of testing. Here, tester tests each and every modules, components, functions, methods mentioned in your program individually or separately. After unit testing, there is integration testing. The name suggests that integration means here tester combine or integrated all the modules in your program and after that they perform testing on that. See, in particular project, there are different types of modules are present. Now, these all types of modules are developed by different programmers or the developers. Now, in integration testing, tester integrate all these components and modules into the single group. Basically, they perform testing on complete project or complete program. That's why, which is also called as thread testing or string testing. The main goal of integration testing is to check correctness, accuracy, quality and communication between all the other models. There are different integration tools are available in market like Selenium, PyTest, JUnit, Jasmine. Now tester use those tools for generating different types of test cases. The next topic is why integration testing. As we discussed earlier, in project, there are different types of models. These models are developed by, designed by different types of software developers. Their programming logic may be also different, right? So integration testing combine or integrate all these models and after that performing operation on that. Integration testing also check that interaction of different software models with the database. In your project, there are different modules that interact with the database. They perform insert, update, delete, this kind of operation on the database. So here integration testing tests their interaction and accuracy of the result. Sometimes in your project, customer requirements are continuously changed. Now, this all the new requirements may not be tested at the unit testing. So at that time, these new requirements are tested in integration testing process. In your project, there are different types of models. For example, in college management system project, there are teacher module, HOD module and student module. So these all three modules are interrelated with each other. They share information with each other. So integration testing tests their compatibility and data flow between all these models. Integration testing also tests the compatibility of hardware and software used in your project. That's why Integration testing is one of the most important testing in software testing process. See here in this particular example. This is just a basic example of Gmail account. I think you all are familiar with the Gmail, right? Suppose user 1 log into particular Gmail account and they want to send mail to the user 2, right? For that purpose, first they click on compose mail option. After that, they fill all the required details like to from subject and after that they send mail to the user too. Now this sending mail is saved into the send items folder. After that user 1 log out particular account. Now next thing is user 2. So user 2 log in their gmail account and move to particular inbox folder and they verify that a particular mail has received or not. Right? After opening a mail they check a particular mail and if needed, they give a proper reply to user 1. And at the end, they log out the account, right? So in integration testing, tester check this complete process are properly occur or not. 
in unit testing they test each and every components or functionality are properly work or not but in integration testing they test that this complete process of sending mail is properly work or not so this is called as integration testing they integrate all these modules and check their data flow and correctness of the result now the next topic is types of integration testing integration testing mainly divided into the two types like incremental and non incremental integration testing this incremental testing again divided into the two types like top down and bottom up integration testing now let discuss this all types of testing in detail the first type of testing is incremental integration testing here tester add all the modules in your project in ascending order one by one for testing purpose just take a example see here suppose in flipkart application user first open a flipkart for that purpose they use login process after that the first page is home page now they search a particular product if user like a particular product they add a particular product into the add cart option right after that they perform payment and log out the application so this is a particular process so in incremental integration testing here tester check that this particular process from top to bottom or from start to end is properly occur or not so this is called as incremental integration testing here tester check data flow between all these modules and functionality and check their correctness of the result this process continue until successful testing of all the other modules this incremental integration testing divided into the two types like top down and bottom up integration testing now let discuss these types in detail the first type of testing is top down integration testing see in your particular program you have to mention first parent class after that you have to mention their child class right like child a child b and child c so in top down integration testing here tester test first parent class after that they test parent class and child a class after that they test parent a parent class child a and child b class and after that they test parent child a child b and child c class so this is called as top down integration testing they perform or analyze the flow of data or flow of output of particular program see here in this particular image this is a hierarchical structure of top down integration testing first there is a m1 module so tester test first m1 module that is topmost module under m1 there is a m2 m3 and m4 module so tester test m1 m2 m3 m4 module in the, uh, separately right so they integrate each and time different parent to child class so this is called as top down integration testing sometimes what happen this m1 and m3 modules have develop but m5 module is remain to develop right so at that time they use a dummy module here for testing purpose and this dummy module is called as stub stub act as a dummy program and which act as a substitute for the missing model for testing purpose right so they check their data flow between all this module this is called as top down integration testing now the next type of testing is bottom to top integration testing so this is just a opposite of top down integration testing see here in this particular image here tester test for child c class after that they test child c and child b class they are working their flow after that they test child c b and child a class and after that they test child c b and their parent class so basically they test the complete flow between data flow between child to parent class so this is called as bottom to top integration testing see here in this particular hierarchical structure here in integration testing tester test first m6 m7 and m5 module after that they test their combined module or integrated module in this way sometimes what happen in bottom top integration testing m5 m3 these two modules have already developed but m1 module is still for remaining right so for this remaining module they use a driver as a dummy program okay so they test for testing purpose they just use this dummy model or dummy program 
and they test that each and every modules are properly work or not and they test their accuracy result of each and every modules now the next type of testing is non incremental integration testing which is also called as big bang testing see in previous types of testing we discuss they test each and every modules and integration of that modules right so once all the modules are developed and tested individually after that non incremental integration testing is work so here non incremental testing work on complete integrated module or complete project when your project is completely developed so they check a final result and final output of your project so this non incremental integration testing is suitable for the smaller system suppose at that time if errors are found so it is very difficult to solve because it is very difficult to identify in which modules errors have occurred right see here in this particular image here is a m1 m2 m3 m4 after that m5 m6 m7 this modules are completely developed so non incremental integration testing this all modules test accurately or separately right see here in this particular example suppose in particular gmail account there is a inbox option is there so inbox having no any parent class or child class right after that compose mail send items so after developing a complete gmail application here big bang testing its work they test complete particular product or the project at a same time now as per your previous year question papers this questions are important like what do you understand by integration testing explain objectives of integration testing for 8 marks how top down and bottom up integration testing is achieved for 7 marks and what is the need of stubs and drivers in software testing for 6 marks so you have to prepare this topics completely so this is all about integration testing thank you keep learning